After watching this video till the end, you will be knowing. What is the meaning of this pasteurized full cream milk having minimum fat contains 6% and SNF 9% minimum? What is pasteurized standard milk having fat contain 4.5% minimum and SNF contain 8.5% minimum? What is pasteurized toned milk having fat contain 3% minimum and SNF contain 8.5% minimum? What is pasteurized double toned milk having fat contain 1.5% and SNF contain 9%? And what is homogenized toned milk? Let's explore together in this video. And after this video, if you hold a packet of milk in your hand, then definitely you will search for these things. I am assuring you. And at the end, if you learn something from this video, then make sure to share this video with your friends and family. Because this type of information is very basic but important for everyone, either anyone from the food technology background or not. Because we are seeing these things, we are purchasing these things, we are consuming these things on a daily basis. So hello guys, my name is Shreyans. On this YouTube channel, you will get all type of informations regarding food technology and its application. So if you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon for the future updates. Okay, so what is homogenization? What is pasteurization? What is single toned milk? What is double toned milk? What is SNF? Let's explore one by one. So first of all, what is SNF? SNF is a solid, not fat, which means the substance in milk other than fat and water, such as vitamins, minerals, carbohydrate, casein, etc. Okay, so what is SNF is completed. Now you may notice that in every packet, pasteurized milk is printed, which means it is important. But to know why it is important, we have to know the pasteurization process. The process of pasteurization involves heating of milk to 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. This 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds is more frequently used. And after this, milk is cooled suddenly, which helps to kill the microorganism which is present in the milk and hence increasing the self life of the milk. This is the reason why it is written in all the packets because self life is very important for a packed milk. So according to Prevention of Food Adulteration PFA rules, they set the legal standards for milk which have to be followed by every company. For pasteurized standardized milk, fat content should be 4.5% minimum and SNF content should be 8.5% minimum according to PFA. In the case of pasteurized full cream milk, the fat content should be 6% minimum and the SNF content should be 9% minimum. Okay, so what is the percentage of fat and SNF in single toned milk and double toned milk? I will tell you in the later part of the video. Okay, so till now pasteurization is completed. Now what is homogenized milk? Homogenization is a process of mechanically passing the milk through a fast running hydraulic shield which breaks the uneven fat molecule of milk into all equal sized molecules. This process having its own pros and cons. So first talking about the pros like no formation of cream layer produces soft curd easily digestible and flavor is also enriched. But the main disadvantage of this process is that it increases the cost of production. Okay, so what is homogenization is also completed. Now what is toned milk or single toned milk? Simply addition of water to the milk is called toned milk and skim powder as well. According to PFA rule, the fat content of toned milk is 3% minimum and 8.5% minimum SNF. The main advantage of toned milk is the price is decreased and the supply is increased. In the case of double toned milk, it is pretty clear that even further addition of water as a result decrement in the fat contain which is 1.5% minimum and SNF is 9% minimum. But hey, did you notice in both the cases, the SNF is 8.5% minimum and 9% minimum respectively, which means only fat is decreasing. And in the case of a skimmed milk, the fat and cream is removed completely. As a result, the fat concentration is only 0.3%, but it is also having required vitamins and minerals. See, don't take this toned milk, double toned milk, skimmed milk in the wrong way. It is beneficial for those whose age is above 60, as it is easily digestible. It is beneficial for those who want to limit their calorie intake as the fat content is too low. It is beneficial for those who are not doing physical activity that much. Like me. And a person involved in too much of physical activity, sports or want more calories in their diet, they should go for full cream milk. 
all right so till now i had completed all the five questions including what is skimmed milk at last one more thing is left what is milk fortification which i am going to cover in my upcoming video not only about milk fortification i'm going to cover about food fortification which includes milk fortification as well so stay tuned for that hope you got all the points if not watch this video once again and explore thanks for watching see you soon in my next video love you all and ha consider subscription Bye.